What is the diner's name at the end of the universe? The Tin Man. The diner at the end of the universe? That's actually called Moonshines. I wish I went to Mount San Sabino show. What were the best miniatures on this brand new opinion? Look up and shoot it. Two part answer to that. Um, choosing one model out of 1500 is extremely difficult. And I would say that everyone who actually entered the miniature entered the best miniature. Not for me, but for them. And I think that's a very important part of uh, these kind of events. Second uh, answer, and that's my personal favorite, it was the uh, best of show actually. That was my favorite uh, because we also have some connection in our own history with it. And it was just superbly done. How do you explain your miniatures to the upward security when I asked Skyward Trans 7? Slow and very loudly. <laughs> Where do you come up with the ideas for your giveaways? Of course, while it's up. <coughs> well, um, I mean, the items are pretty easy. I just look at the big pile of miniatures I have and see what I, uh, what I won't paint uh, at any point in the future, which pretty much is everything I have. Um, so finding an item is easy. Um, and the rest is just having spontaneous ideas, like everything we do is uh, very spontaneous and uh, we're just having fun. And what seems to be the most fun at the time, that's going to turn into a giveaway. Is there an easy way to prove the author's found? Not sex -wish. Yes. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Is going against the competition mandatory to obtain sufficient visibility as a painter? Daniel Fire. It really depends on uh, how Games Workshop and the game state will develop in the future, and we'll see uh, what event becomes most important. Okay. What was the first miniature you painted? Daniel Fire. Uh, I think it was a, a model from Hero Quest, a skeleton. Yeah. The first miniature I painted was a uh, Space Marine a Blood Angel Death Company guy. It's also the first miniature I bought, as far as I can remember. My first miniature that I ever painted was a Snotling Pump Wagon back in, two, in 1991. And I still have it, and it's my favorite miniature. Do you recommend attending the Fernando Ruiz painting course for a beginner? Keynote 3105. Just ask him directly. Why is Ben such an amazingly good looking guy? Vlad is a Mitch. <sighs> Does Vlado have a man crush? I know I do. The Tin Man. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what would happen if you put the scarf together with the beard. Would you get even more chicks? Coconut. <laughs> if you started your own range of miniatures, what genre setting would you choose? Jaboom. Science fiction. For sure. I like space stuff. Space stuff. How long have you been painting? Look up and shoot it. Um, I fear I have been painting for 17, 18 years by now. 16 years. <clears throat> and you still suck. <laughs> Half of my life. E Are you going to produce more miniatures? General Splatten. That's a very difficult question. Um, it's not our original plan to create miniatures just to sell miniatures. I think that is the, the straight answer. Um, but we have so many great ideas that I would not rule out that we will do this in the future. But it will be extremely limited and it's not going to be mainstream, I think. So um, that's all the answer I can give you right now. It's not our priority. There is an easter egg somewhere hidden in this machine. You know the answer. Now find the question. <laughs>